Mark, we're here to talk about Epson technology and in particular their 4K Pro UHD. This projector blows away anything you need. It's got the color gamut covered, it's got the resolution covered, it's, it's got it's, the brightness covered. It's got the brightness and it's the UB series, so it actually gives you some really good contrast when you turn those lights off and you have the light control. You know, one of the cool things I think they do is they give you a choice. You have the cinema filter, which lets you run it really bright and almost get to the, the P3 color gamut, or actually surpass it. And so in effect, you have two projectors in one. You have a projector that can do the sports thing with a little bit of ambient light in the room and it looks like a giant, you know, TV. Flat panel TV, yeah. Uh, or you can turn off the lights and you can do the home theater thing. We still have a lot of HDR content. A lot of people have projectors. They want to be able to see HDR on their projectors. Is it a reasonable thing? From my perspective, having watched this projector, there's the details already there on the screen, so what you're looking for, is there anything else that's, that's, that's missing, that's taking me out of it? And one thing that the projector does, as I understand it, uh, is it accepts the full 10-bit signal coming in and processes it in, in full 10-bit resolution so as not to lose any of that information. I've seen demonstrations of, of their technology and, and really what they're able to do is, is render some incredibly difficult scenes like, like backgrounds that have uh, reds, you know, deep reds that, 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 that are legitimately challenging to uh, other projectors and just make it through there without faltering at all. Mm -hmm. Finally, Mark, within a reasonable consumer budget, would you go for a three chip projector from say Epson or Sony or JVC or a one chip projector from the likes of BenQ or Optima. That's an easy one, three chip, because I'm using projectors primarily to watch movies. In the consumer realm, to do justice to film, from my point of view, three chip is the way to go, period. You want to settle down and watch, you know, some quality movie or stream Game of Thrones, you know, you want everything rendered clean, you want to see those shadow details, and it's a better experience uh, that, that, that doesn't take you out of the movie.